Good morning, my friends. It's Wednesday, March 8th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. Hermione is enjoying her breakfast this morning. She's already been outside and back inside again since waking up this morning. Quite a voracious and active cat this morning. And I have with me this beautiful icon from the Basilica in Venice in the 13th century the dome, this being the fourth day, and let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens, stars. This orb that God is creating has both the sun and the moon, and if you look closely, they have faces. Let's see if I can portray that for you. There are also, as in many of these depictions of this particular dome, there are angels watching over this creation. But also, they always look like they're being shoved aside, which is fascinating. As if the created order had to be, um, angels had to make room for the created order somehow. sun has these beaming rays coming out. We continue with the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah has to give harsh news to people. He has to point out their flaws. God asks him to say to the land of Judah, please, you're doing this wrong. You're worshiping other gods. You're, you're running away from me and it's going to end up in disaster. Have you ever tried to give someone negative feedback because you love them and because you want to help them, but it's not necessarily welcomed or asked for? It's a great dilemma for me. I don't know. Uh, giving unsolicited advice often is um, not a good idea, but yet Jeremiah is told by God, you have to tell the people they're going in the wrong direction. And God uses today this imagery of, of love, of, of sexual relations. They're whoring, they're committing adultery. They're taking their love of me and they're casting it on things that, that are adulterous and deceitful. God is like a scorned lover or a spouse who has been cheated upon, that upset, that hurt, that wounded. And Jeremiah is forced to give this news that people don't want to hear and that will make them angry. I do believe that we have some responsibility when we see our friends and loved ones going astray to in some way point that out to them if we love them, even if they don't want to hear it. And it's hard work. I feel for Jeremiah, for he spends his life in conflict and loneliness, but yet he's always faithful to the one who made him, the one who he knows will welcome him home. And that, my friends, is the relationship that truly matters, isn't it? So don't be afraid if today you have to Give someone an honest feedback. Perhaps help them to change their ways. And perhaps if they become angry at you, that's okay. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this day. We ask that you would give us courage today, Lord, to sometimes say the news that may not be popular. Help others care for themselves and to name it when they're not. Help us also to receive advice, both good and bad, from those we trust and love. And to give thanks for it. 
We ask you to bless the sick today, Lord Christ, to bless those who are dying, the hungry and those who mourn. We ask you to bless those who are incarcerated, who struggle with addiction or mental illness of any kind. We ask you to grant us wisdom and strength. We ask you to guide us in this world that we may do your will today, the work that you call us to do. Help us to hear that call. We ask you to bring peace to the whole world, Lord, to the church, to the city of Jacksonville that welcomes the Episcopal Parish Network this week. We ask you to grant us your peace. And we ask you to give us a reverence for this beautiful earth that you have made and created. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless you. Have a great day.